It's a cloud. Welcome back everybody, and today it's another review. It's the on-running Cloud Adventure Peak. A really minimal, fast, flexible trail running shoe. So this is the first on shoe I've ever had. I was skeptical about these cloud pods. So I thought they would fill up with dirt and you know, be useless, but I was wrong. So these were sent to me by Aspire Marketing. This isn't a sponsored video, I'm not being paid. But these are my thoughts. I've got about 100 miles in these shoes. I don't know whether you can see. They are white, they were white. They are starting to discolor a bit. To be fair, when I first got them, I thought, why them would you send me a white shoe? But actually, it's kind of quite cool to see, see the trail, see how things change. Now, this is summer. It's not winter yet. So that would be quite interesting to see how they develop. And I'm sure I'll stick a lovely photo online of, yeah, they, they might be brown soon, but we shall see. Autumn does seem to be turning up. So, in brief, they have the Mission Soul Rubber Outer. This is actually proved to be pretty sticky. I've taken it onto some Welsh slates, I've taken it on my local trails, with some little bit of mud, predominantly kind of hard pack. At the front you have five pods, at the rear you have four pods. These are what give you that nice cushion feeling without having a complete outsole covered in them. They've worn pretty well, they do work, I noticed these when I was on the road really, so it's that mile or two, doesn't matter where you run, you always have to hit a road. So these have been really good. And then on the forefoot, just near the arch, and then at the rear, you do have traditional lugs. So these are designed to kind of follow the flow of your foot, and they are relatively aggressive. Um, I've had no issues with them, so the wear's been good. These have done about 100 miles so far. They look pretty damn new. Between your foot, and the shoe is a speed board. Now, it's kind of like got two fins at the front that split, so it gives your foot the ability to move. I'm not really sure what I'm doing here, but it gives your foot the ability to move. It's not a solid layer. Now, that's been designed differently from the original version. I have not run the original version, I should have. And yeah, it is a fast shoe. Up top, you've got this really lightweight stretch mesh, and it's reinforced with a ripstop on top and there's taping to give you that structure, to give you that nice huggy feel. It is like a sock. I haven't worn it without socks, but that's not so good. But it's a really nice feeling. I've had no hot spots, no rubbing. It hasn't caused my socks. It hasn't caused any problems. The laces, they're really thin and narrow, but actually they do hold firm. There's a nice little, uh, little detail there where the, the on is. Hmm. They fit really well. They hold you really well. On the whole, like, I've been really, really impressed. Would I change anything? Um, colour. Yes, I said the white's actually grown on me. When they first turned up, I was just like, holy crap. And I was a bit, yeah, I didn't know what to make of them. Now that the colour's a bit and they're not in your face white, I like them more. However, on the previous version of the shoe, there were other colours and they were pretty sweet, like the rest of On's range. Now On do some pretty cool looking kit, be it apparel or be it shoes, and it would be nice to see an injection of colour in this. Would I want to run this for hundreds of miles in a single go? I don't think so. However, for blasting out a half marathon, for your local trail run, whether you're taking it easy or just going balls out, this is a great, great shoe. It's actually changed my mind about On. I will be testing other products in the future, but right now this has opened up, opened up my mind. I've also had a, a very quick walk in their new Cloud Rock boots, and now that I've worn these, they kind of make sense, and the whole thing's starting to work together in the ecosystem. Yeah, it makes a lot more sense give you a perspective. The first time I wore this was to the pub and walking down the high street, I was kind of trying to get my feet used to them and I didn't really know what to make of them, but actually it's now, they feel like a normal running shoe and it's when I'm hitting the road that the cloud pods actually really 
to me kicking or on harder terrain. When it's soft, it doesn't matter. But it's nice to have it there either way. Would I wear this over a more aggressive full outsole in the middle of winter? I don't know. Time will tell. Anyway, thank you for watching. I have a complete long winded version of this chat down below in the link. Um, I've got lots of photos of these shoes um, and more details about the construction and how they work and my experiences. So if you want, please have a click on that and I'll speak to you soon. Adios.